everybody and welcome back to my video and today we're going to be doing some quests so Stumpy Nigel has given us a list of quests that he would recommend us do first so let's have a look at them and the first quest is the Restless Ghost quest so we're going to have a look at the Restless Ghost on the wiki and we're going to gain one quest point and 1125 prayer experience so the description of the quest is a ghost is haunting Lumbridge graveyard the priest of the Lumbridge church of Saradomen wants you to find out how to get rid of it it's a novice short quest and the requirements is capable of killing or running away from the combat level 13 skeleton it is recommended to have three Lumbridge teleport or a necklace of passage which is the wizard's power but we don't have to have these so now we're gonna look on the map and we need to go over to this quest which is the restless ghost so here we go so now we are at the church we need to talk to father Arette and see what he has to say welcome to the church of holy saradomen i'm looking for a quest and we've started the quest Now we need to go talk to Brother Ernie in the southwest of Lumbridge Swamp, which is this way. Let's have a look on the map. And we need to go here. Through the swamp we go, avoiding the giant rats. Luckily we've brought some food with us. Time to talk to you, but father only oh that's not very nice father all right sent me to talk to you and he's given us an amulet and it is an amulet of ghost speak he's not making any guarantees with us now if we look on the map again we need to go open the coffin in the Lumbridge graveyard to spawn the ghost. So let's go do that now. And here's the coffin. So let's search that. And we've spawned the ghost. So we need to speak to the ghost whilst wearing the ghost speak amulet. Yep, we can understand exactly what you're saying. And now we need to return the ghost skull. Which means we need to go to the wizard's tower basement. So if we look on the map, we need to go to the wizard's tower, which is here. Let's do that now. And here we are at the wizard's tower. Now we need to enter the wizard tower basement. Over there. Enter the altar, open the door, and go search the altar, and then we run away from the skeleton. Luckily we've got some food, and then we need to go back up the ladder, and return the ghost skull back onto the map, and it shows that we need to go back here, so off we go. Now that we're back, we need to return the skull to the coffin. Here we go. How are you doing? Finding my skull. And we found it. Here you go. And we've put it back. Oh, 
and that's the quest complete and we've got one quest point 1125 prayer xp a ghost speak amulet and we've got a total quest point of two so we've just advanced our prayer level to level nine we can now use the prayer mystic will and that's the end of the quest And now we're going to do the quest imp capture. You can start this quest by speaking to Wizard Ms. Gog who is in the Wizard Tower south of Drina Village. There aren't any requirements for this quest. So we're just going to look at the wiki for imp capture. We need to make our way to the Wizard's Tower, which we've already said. And we need to climb the stairs, go to the third floor, and talk to Wizard Ms. Gog and ask him questions to find out that he needs your help. He will tell you that Wizard Grey Zag's imps have stolen his bees and he wants you to get them back for him. So we need to collect a black bead, a yellow bead, a red bead and a white bead. But because we're a bit of a low level at the minute and we've only got bronze weapons, I think I'm going to go buy some iron weapons from the Grand Exchange first. So I've got some money and then we're just going to go to the Grand Exchange. Let's see if this imp has a bead. Nope, now we've got ourselves an iron scimitar. So we're going to teleport over here and then we're going to walk up to the imps. Now we just need to teleport to fishing trawler and then just walk up to by the monastery and we can start killing some imps. So let's do that now. Here, fishing trawler and teleport. And we can't because we need to have fishing level of 15. Change of plan. So now we're going to go to Edgeville and I'm going to teleport to the wilderness and then we're going to teleport over here and then we'll walk now we're in Ardy, and now we're here start killing some imps skill what do you mean i can't reach that oh yeah no bead try the next one come back here imp still no beads level three attack and attack level four but still no beads and level five attack and i've got a beekeeper event let's see what this beekeeper has to say what do you expect me to do oh very well let's take a look what did we get some flax how interesting and our first bead is the black bead take that so now we just need the yellow bead the red bead and the white bead and attack level six Combat level is now combat level 6. Whee! And level 6 combat. And level 7. And a chef's hat. Why not? And there's the white bead. And I realised that the GPU settings were turned off, so I've turned that back on as well. So now we just need the red bead and the yellow bead. Level 8 attack. And the yellow bead. I'll have that. And some of the ashes. I wonder what an insult imp head does. So now we just need the final red bead. Our first duplicate bead, a white bead. And prayer level 10. You can now use the prayer rock skin and members can now wear initiative armor. Oh, cool. Level 9 attack and another white bead. Level 9 and level 10 attack. So we're going to switch over to some strength. Apparently I've completed the task getting grip on it. Speak to adventurer John to claim my reward. Hmm. And level 2 strength and level 8 combat and we've got 12 hit points now and we've got level 3 strength which gives us a combat level of 8 still no red bead and another duplicate of yellow and level 4 strength which gives us a combat level of 9 what is it with these red beads and level 5 strength i've completed another task and finally the red bead and another imp head but that means we've got all the beads that we need to complete the quest so now we just need to go to the wizard's tower to start the quest and finish it. So if we look on the map, the wizard's tower. So if we go back to Lumbridge and then walk across and we'll be able to do the quest. We need to go to the top floor and now we need to talk to this wizard here. Give me a quest please. Well this is a surprising turn of events. 
Well, I just so happen to have all of those beads on me. No, not at all. I just found them throughout my travels and presumed somebody would need them at some point. There you go. And that's the quest complete. You have completed in capture. You are rewarded one quest point, 875 magic XP, an amulet of accuracy, and we have a total quest point of three. So that's the quest complete. And now we've just advanced our magic level to level eight. So as you can see, the beads are one in 25 from the imps, and we needed a total of four. And as you can see on the screen, we would have needed to have killed 100 imps, but we only needed to kill 39 to get all four, so we were pretty spooned. Right, and now we're going to do the next quest, which is the Witcher's Potion. So we've got it up on the quest helper, so we need to firstly talk to Hetty and Remington. So let's check them out, and then we need to go to Remington. And now we're here, we need to talk to Hattie. I am in search of a quest. Yes, help me become one with my dark side. What do I need? A rat's tail, burnt meat, eye of newt and an onion. Great, I'll go and get them. So we need to kill a rat in the house to the west to get the rat tail. Right, talk to Hetty. I've been looking for those ingredients, so what have you found so far? I have the rat tail, eel. I don't have any burnt meat and I don't have an onion and I don't have an eye of newt. Great, but I need the ingredients as well okay so an onion we need to pick one from the field north of Remington so let's go do that next here's the field and here's the onion so let's pick an onion and we've got that so now we need to get an eye of new import sarin for 3 gp which i don't have so we need to go get that first now we've got the coins we're going to go get the meat and then cook it on a furnace and then burn it and then we'll go back and get the eye of newt from the shop so we're going to get some meat from the cow and then we'll go back and cook it back to port sarin we go Time to get the eye of newt. Getting the eye of newt. And then back to Remington. Cook the meat on the furnace and then we'll take it all back to Hetty. Cook the meat. And then if you use the cooked meat again. And then it burns it. So we've got all of the ingredients that we need. So time to take them back to Hetty. And now we're back at Hetty's talk to Hetty. I've been looking for these ingredients, so what have you found so far? In fact, I have everything. Well, is it ready? Drink from the cauldron. That's the quest complete. You completed Witch's Potion. You are awarded with one quest point and 325 magic XP. <laughs> so we have a total of four quest points, and that's the quest complete and we've just got a magic level of 10 and i'll see you in the next video where i think we're going to do some more skill training and grinding